In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to print from a Chromebook in 2022. And it's actually really easy. Unfortunately, since a service called Google Cloud Print stopped working at the end of 2020, some really old printers actually can't be used at all with your Chromebook. And that is a little bit annoying, but as long as you have a printer that's not super old, for example, Timmy's using an, an old HP PhotoSmart 5520 that's about seven years old maybe, and that works perfectly fine. So it certainly doesn't have to be a brand new printer, but as long as your printer is not super old, you'll be able to print to it from your Chromebook really quite easily. And you can even do it wirelessly over Wi-Fi or through a USB cable. So first, Tamil will show you how to connect your printer to your Chromebook through a USB cable. And then later, Tamil will show you how to print over Wi-Fi. So if your printer doesn't have Wi-Fi or you just don't want to go through the hassle of having your printer and your Chromebook on the same Wi-Fi network and doing things like that, then you can quite easily just plug your printer in and it'll work really easily. So hopefully all you'll need to do is just plug your printer in to your Chromebook's USB port if your Chromebook has a USB port or if it doesn't you might just need a little USB-C to USB-A adapter like this and that'll work just the same and then hopefully once you plug the printer into the Chromebook you get a notification pop up on your Chromebook screen saying that the printer is connected and ready to use. And if you get a pop up like that, you're all done and you're ready to print. So if you're in this Google Doc or somewhere else and you press Control P, the keyboard shortcut for printing, or if you click the print button somewhere else, you'll see next to destination here, you've got your printer. And hopefully your printer will be here as the destination. But if it's not, you might just need to click on this menu here and choose it from this drop down menu here. Or sometimes when you first connect your printer, you might actually need to click see more in the drop down menu and then choose the printer from this menu here. And now it's ready. So now if you just click the print button here, it will begin to print straight away and print out really easily. So that's really cool if that works, but some printers when you plug it in might come up with a notification on your Chromebook asking you to configure the printer. And if that happens, you'll just need to click on the notification to open the settings app. And then in this box that appears, choose the printer's brand if the brand is not already set, and then choose the printer's model if the model is not already set. And the model should be written on your printer somewhere if you don't know what the model is. But unfortunately, if you can't find your printer's model in this list, that means that your printer actually won't work with your Chromebook, which is a bit sad, but as long as your printer does work with your Chromebook and you can find it in this list, you can go ahead and click the add button and then you'll be ready to print just like Timmy showed you before. And now regardless of any sort of settings you had to set up when you first connected your printer, now whenever you plug your printer back into your Chromebook again, you will immediately be able to just go and press print or control P and then choose your printer and print out straight away. Because once you've done it the first time, it'll all be set up. So that's all there is to printing to a USB printer, but printing to a wireless printer over Wi-Fi is pretty easy too. You will need to make sure the printer and the Chromebook are on the same Wi-Fi network, but hopefully they already are on the same Wi-Fi network. If your printer is not yet connected to Wi-Fi, Unfortunately, Timmy can't really show you how to do that because all printers are quite different. With the PhotoSmart that Timmy's using, you press the settings button and then wireless and then wireless setup wizard on the screen. And then it will start the process of connecting your printer to Wi-Fi. 
but if you have a different printer, it'll probably be a bit different, and you might need to look at the instruction manual or do some specific Googling or something like that. But hopefully your printer is connected to your Wi-Fi network anyway, and you won't have to do any of this. And then on your Chromebook, you'll just need to come down to the time down here and click on that to bring up this menu. And then click on the settings icon here. And now you'll be in the settings. And if you scroll down and click on advanced, you can find the printing settings, but it's a lot easier to just click up in the search here and type print and then click on printing here. And now you'll be in the printing settings. So hopefully the printer you're trying to use will show up in this list here because most wireless printers that are compatible with Chrome OS and are connected to your Wi-Fi network should automatically show up here without you doing anything. And if yours has shown up here, you'll just need to click save next to it and it's saved. So now the printer will show up under your saved printers here and that's all you have to do. You can now start printing things and whenever you're connected to this Wi-Fi network, you'll be able to very easily just click print or press control P and print to this printer. But if your printer doesn't show up in this list, don't worry, you might actually still be able to use your printer with your Chromebook. You might just need to set it up manually. So to do that, just click on this little plus icon next to add printer here, and it will bring up a whole lot of options, and it looks kind of scary, but it's not too bad. The first one is just the name, and that's just whatever you want to call it. So you might want to call it PhotoSmart or something that's the actual name of the printer. Or if you want, you could just call it something like Office Printer and then you'll know which printer it is. So Timmy might do that. And now the next box is the address. And that's actually not the street address of the location you're in. That's the IP address of the printer on the Wi-Fi. And this is a little bit harder to find. And again, it will depend on your model of printer. So you might have to do some Googling or look in your printer's instruction manual or something like that. But if your printer doesn't have a screen, it's usually a combination of buttons you press. And then the printer will print out a page that says its IP address on it. Or if your printer does have a screen like Timmy's does, it might be a matter of pressing a Wi-Fi button somewhere and then you'll see the IP address there. Or perhaps you need to click settings and wireless and something like display network configuration and you'll find it there. But now once you've found that printer's IP address, whatever that is, you'll just need to come and type in this box and type the IP address. So it's 192.168.86.27. And the IP address that Timmy just typed in will almost definitely not be the same as the IP address of your printer, but the start might be similar because that's often the case. And now the other two options in this box, you can just leave as they are and go ahead and click on the add button. And now that might be all you need to do, but you might come to another screen where you just need to choose the brand of the printer if that's not already set, and then choose the model of the printer if that's not already set. And the model should be written on the printer somewhere if you don't know that. But unfortunately, if you can't find the model in this list, that probably means your printer is not compatible with a Chromebook, which is unfortunate. But if the model is there and you can click on it, you'll then just click on add and now your printer will be configured. So if you look up at saved printers here, you'll see office printer or whatever you called your printer will be here. But now that's all there is to configuring your printer, regardless of how you've set it up. Once you've got your printer connected to your Chromebook, you can close the settings app 
and now just pull up whatever you wanted to print. So maybe that's a Google Doc, maybe a web page, maybe a PDF of some sort. And then you could click on the three dots here and come down and click on print. Or you could find a print button somewhere else on the screen here, like this one. Or you can press Ctrl and P at the same time on your keyboard and that'll work too. And now it will bring up this printer screen with a few different options. And hopefully the destination will be set to your printer, but sometimes it won't be. Sometimes you'll have to click here and choose your printer from this list here. And then sometimes the first time you use your printer, it might actually not be in this list either. You might have to click see more and then choose your printer from this list, but it should definitely be in this list if you've set it up. So to me, I'll click on that. And now your printer is selected. And now there's just a few other basic options like you would get when you print from any device. So you could choose the pages. At the moment it's set to all, so it would print all the pages of the document. But you could change it to custom and type a range of numbers that you want to print there. But seeing as this is only a one page document, to me I'll just leave it set to all. And you can choose the copies here. So if you wanted more than one, you could type a different number here. And now if your printer is a colored printer, you will have the option to set to color or black and white. But if it's only a black and white printer, you might only be able to choose black and white. But Timmy's going to choose color because Timmy has a color printer. And now if you click on more settings here, you really don't have to do this. It'll probably print just fine. But if you want to make sure everything's completely right, you might want to choose the paper size because by default, it's usually set to letter, but it's actually pretty rare that you're printing something on a letter paper size. You're probably printing on A4. So you might want to choose A4 from this list here. It doesn't really matter too much what paper size you choose. If it's set to letter and you print on A4, it'll usually work just fine, but you might want to choose your specific paper size. And you can also set the margins. So it's probably best to just leave it at default, but you might want to make it no margins so that whatever you're printing goes right to the edge of the page. But that's often not a good idea because it means some things might fall off the side of the page. Or you could set it to minimum. So that'll give you very small margins around the page. Or you could choose custom. And then you can choose the custom margin by clicking and dragging here to choose the exact margin of whatever you're printing. But Timmy's just going to set it back to default so that it's quite normal. And you can also choose the scale. So by default, it will just fit it to what looks correct. But if you click on custom here, it's set to 100 now. But if you set, if you typed 50 in this box, you could make whatever you were printing a lot smaller on the page, or perhaps if whatever you were printing was actually too small for the page, you could type something like 150 and it would make it a bit bigger. But if you type 150 and 100 already had whatever you're printing filling the page, that wouldn't really make a difference. And you can also choose to print on both sides if you want. So, not all printers can do this, but a lot of printers will be able to print out on one side and then suck the page back in and print on the other side as well. So you can effectively use half the amount of paper you are going to. So if your printer supports this and you want to print on two sides, you could tick that box. But as Timmy's only printing one page, Timmy won't need to do that at all. And you can also choose to add the headers and footers. So the header is the information up here and the footer is the information down here. Just stuff about what you're printing. But if you want things to be nice and neat, 
you probably don't want the headers and footers. So Timmy's actually going to click on that box to remove them. And now you'll see the only stuff on the page it is what was actually inside Timmy's Google Doc. And if you click on advanced settings here, they're all quite a bit more advanced as well for doing really specific things. If your printer has multiple input trays, you could choose the tray here. And the print quality is something you actually might want to change if you click here. Depending on your printer, you might have some different options, but to me it's just got normal and high. So to me might set it to high to have a really good print quality, but that will usually use more ink and make it slower to print. So you might not want to do that at all. And you really don't need to come into any of this settings at all. So to me will click apply. And now when you're ready, you can just click print and the printer will begin to print. And we have our printed page. And that's all there is to printing on a Chromebook. You now know everything you need to know about how to set up your printer with your Chromebook and start printing. So that's really cool. But if you want to learn how to scan on a Chromebook using a printer's built-in scanner, you'll learn how to do that in this video right here.